I have allergies and I sneeze a lot. Okay, when you don't notice it, it helps the flow of the conversation that we're having. I just need to hear another sentence that comes from you that I can actually hear. But if you notice that shit, then I'm the worst person ever. Now, I believe in spirituality as much as the next guy, and I can be a little hippy-dippy sometimes. But there are times when I think that it is appropriate to actually show that you're capable of violence, or in another fashionable sense, actually solve your situation with violence. That way, you can set the status quo to a degree where, you know, you have the leverage and you don't get bossed around. If that was transferred over to an actual living person, let me just tell you, that would be super unhealthy, because I'd probably be mad that that person doesn't want to be with me forever or something like that. So, in order to fix that kind of thing, I just place my faith in things that don't change. Like, you know, a picture or an action figure, you know, etc. While it does leave me with endless suffering, and trust me, there are nights where I get angry for no reason, I still have the weird ability in order to conceal my actions and make sure that I don't freak out. Which led me to this funny joke that if I were ever to switch bodies with any other person, they'd probably start freaking out at the very second. Which I say to them, here's your porn, here's your anime, and here's your art skills. Now go have fun! Also, the nightmares never end. All my intensity is very much pushed into my narcissism about my role as an artist. Yes, I am a narcissist that admits that he's a narcissist in the first place. I find myself super valuable and very important. And if you guys call me delusional or self-absorbed, then yeah, that's true. I feed myself my own delusion that I am awesome. But obviously, it's not just this way. If I'm extreme about being depressed, which I have been, then, you know, I'm all the worst things about myself, so why the fuck would I do that? This isn't me saying that I can't make flaws or whatever, like I go extreme on the sense that I think that I'm a totally good person. No, no, no. I'm extreme in the sense that no matter what happens in my life, I'm just not gonna give up. And I employ a lot of other people to do the same. This is something that is hard for me to accept about myself a lot of the times. If out of nowhere there is an intense energy about myself, I'm going to express it in whatever way that I feel. The only important thing is that I'm able to express it in a way that doesn't harm or hurt anybody that's not intentionally in front of it. My passion is the very source of what causes me so much pain but I'd be lying if it didn't actually garner me a lot of success in my life. So if anybody was jealous about being me or wanted to be me in whatever ways, if it's because I have a successful YouTube channel or I'm actually tall in real life, just know that I am endlessly suffering. But here's the weird part, you gotta fall in love with that suffering. Did you agree with our list of my toxic traits? If not, fuck you. This is the Tree Hobby Studio, I remember it so you don't have to. Also, when it comes to any other videos that you might be anticipating about this channel, I am still working on them, and, you know, it just takes a little longer. Specifically because I'm always coming up with new ideas for them, and I gotta be in the mood to make them, otherwise they don't come out as good videos, and then I get a little bit depressed when the retention's so low. Anyways, have a fun day. Bye! <laughs>